In this video, I shall explain how you differentiate parametric equations. You have parametric equations if you have two different functions with the same independent variable. In our case, we have x, which is a function of t. We also have y, which is a function of t. So these two are what we call parametric equations. In calculus, you may be required to find this derivative here dy dx or the second derivative d squared y dx squared. So this is how you do it. You rely on formulas. These are the two formulas that you're going to deal with. We have for dy dx, we use this formula that says dy dt multiplied by dt dx. Solving or getting this first derivative involves first finding dy dt and also finding dt dx then you multiply them then you have dy dx that's what we do it's like an application of the chain rule then for the second derivative d squared y over dx squared this is the formula is d dt of dy dx dy dx multiplied by dt dx let me interpret this this means you first find dy dx and remember that dy dx is a function of t that function of t you differentiate with respect to t then whatever you get you multiply by dt dx remember you already have your dt dx from here or from elsewhere this is how you do the second derivative so let's apply our formula in our case we start with x is equal to t t squared plus 2 x is equal to t squared plus 2 it means we can find dx dt our dx dt will be 2t in a similar manner, we have y is equal to 4t. It means we can find dy dt, which is equal to 4. Now, we, we need to remember that our formula uses dt dx. So dt dx from here is dt dx. It's simply the inverse of dx dt so this is just 1 over 2t done let's now move on to get our dy dx so dy dx is equals to dy dt times dt dx which is essentially dy dt is 4 we are multiplying this 4 by 1 over 2t. So our final answer is 2 over t. That's dy dx. So we're done with that part. We can now go to the second derivative. Our second derivative, let's write our formula so that we, we remain in, in, in the right direction. So it's d squared y over dx squared is equals to d dt of dy dx. This is being multiplied by dt dx. We already have dy dx. We also have dt dx so we just it's just a matter of uh, substituting into our uh, formula uh, this means we are differentiating d dt dy dx is 2 over t so we are differentiating 2 over t in terms of t and we multiply what we get here we're going to multiply it by dt dx which we said is 1 over 2t. So we're multiplying this by 1 over 2t. 
Now we, we have to find the derivative, this part here, which is the derivative of 2 over t. If we differentiate 2 over t, our answer is, let, let me do it aside here. Um, we have, uh, let's say we have y equals to 2 over t. Let, let, let me use another thing. Let's, let me use V. V equals to 2 over T. Uh, this is like V is equal to 2 T to the power minus 1. If we differentiate this, the derivative is minus 2 over T squared. That's the derivative. So in other words, if you differentiate 2 over T, the derivative is minus 2 over T squared. That we are multiplying by 1 over 2t. So let's continue. This, this part here, the first part gives us, this gives us minus 2 over t squared being multiplied by 1 over 2t. Simple algebra, we're going to cancel this and that. Then the numerators multiply each other and the denominators multiply each other. In the end, it will be minus 1 over t cubed. That's the second derivative. This is our final answer. I hope it's clear, guys. Just make sure you don't get lost here in, in confusing things. dt, dx, with dx, dt. Don't make those mistakes. Otherwise, it's a very straightforward issue. Everything is clear. As long as you are able to differentiate the two functions that you're given. If you have if x is a function of t and you can find dx dt and you have uh, y is a function of t and you can find dy dt. As long as you can do that, then you should be able to differentiate any parametric equation that you're given. Guys, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and if you have any questions, just type them in the comment section below. I will respond. Thank you.